everyone, Eddie Gray here with thepipenook.com, back in the West Parlor at Gray Manor. Man, I look Casper White today. Um, anyway, uh, just figured I'd come on and, and do a little pipe chat. Let me light up, or do a relight, and we'll do that. Uh-oh. So... I'm smoking this little Morgan finished nose warmer cob from Missouri Meerschaum. And in it, smoking the last little remnant that I had left from this Three Nuns uh, tin. And I guess I'll talk a little bit about that. I don't carry Three Nuns. Um, and this is the first 10 I've ever had of it. It's Virginia and Dark Fired. Comes in little uh, coins, which I don't have any left to show you, but uh, little coins, not the big ones like uh, Stokeby coin. And man, it's it's good. It, I'm not over the moon about it, so it, it's not bad. I understand the old Three Nuns blend that used to be on the market had Perique in it. So from time to time, I hear people say that Three Friars from Cornell and Deal is kind of their take on the old Three Nuns recipe. I don't know how true that is, but I do know that Three Friars has Virginia's, Burley's, and uh, Perique. To my palate, I really like the Three Friars, but it seems like it's a lighter blend, definitely, than, than this new Three Nuns. I like the Three Friars, uh, particularly because it has Perique in it. And I'm a Perique guy. I'm also a dark fired guy guy, excuse me. Um, the three nuns is good. Um, but it, it definitely isn't, you know, McBaron's old dark fired or Cornell and Deal's uh, bluegrass. Or Irish Flake or anything like that. So you know, it, it didn't uh, knock any any of my favorite blends off the pedestal, so to speak. Uh, but it's good. I know some of you guys might really love Three Nuns. Uh, so I'm not going to poop on it. It's definitely not a bad blend. But uh, it's not one of my favorites. Drinking some OMS coffee. So, it's been a little while since I made a video. It's been at least three weeks, I think. So the last video I made was around New Year's. Might have been New Year's Eve or New Year's Day. The week after that was my birthday. And then the week after that, we went on a family vacation. You might have seen my notification up on the website that I was going to be out for five days or so, four or five days. So I'm all caught back up from the backlog of orders I got during that time. We're back on track. Um, we went to Disney World uh, in Orlando for our family vacation. The six-year-old had never been. The last time we went was four years ago when she was two years old. And we left her with Grandma because there's not a whole lot for two-year-olds to do in Disney World except to be pushed around in those little baby care, you know, baby strollers um, and whine and cry a lot. Because, of course, they want to do stuff with the family, but just can't do a whole lot um, except for fuss. So we left her home last time. This time, you know, she was Princess age, you know, um, 
and she was all about it. She had a blast. And I think that was a big part of the fun for the rest of the family was to see her first experience with everything. It was, I believe, um, a, a little unseasonably cold. Not too awful cold, except for one night we stayed out at the Magic Kingdom until like 11 o'clock. And it dipped down into the 40s. Um, and it's cold and a little bit misty that night. And we hadn't had dinner and we were just freezing our tushies off outside because restaurants were closing. We had chicken and waffles in the dark and cold. <laughs> that was like the most miserable part of the, the experience. But also unseasonably populated. There were a pretty good bit of crowds for early to mid-January, I thought. Um... We had a fast pass for first thing in the morning at Space Mountain, because that's kind of definitely on the bucket list. But Space Mountain was closed for most of the day that day. I, well, I don't think they opened up until 1 o'clock. And then everybody that had a fast pass, their fast passes were opened up for the whole day. So even the fast pass lines were, I think it got up to two hours for a fast pass and four hours wait in the normal line. Um, kind of ridiculous, but, uh, overall enjoyable. We, you know, we got to do the pirate ride and the Winnie the Pooh ride and, you know, Thunder Mountain Railroad. My oldest and I got to do the rock and roller coaster at Hollywood Studios. Got to see all the Star Wars stuff. Which I understand they're building a Star Wars land. What I'm not sure what they're going to call it, but it's going to be a whole section uh, dedicated to Star Wars at Hollywood Studios. And I got to ride the Tower of Terror for the first time, which I, to me, that was my favorite. That was the most fun thrill ride. Too bad it doesn't last long at all. That that was a lot of fun. It's basically like a haunted elevator, supposedly, you know. And you get to see the rest of the park. It opens up, and you can see the rest of the park, and it's launching you up and down and up and down. And it's kind of a free fall. So it throws you up, and you get this moment of like, wow, it's, it's thrown us up, and it's released us. And now we're falling, and it's like a free fall until the brakes come back on and it kind of slow stops you does that a few times and man that feeling of like I'm I got launched out of a cannon and now I'm falling down it, it that was that was awesome I loved it but uh, anyway that's what I've been up to just wanted to check in with you guys real quick um, there aren't too many times in the past three or four years that I've gone three or four weeks without making a video so my apologies um, uh, I hope I can get back on track and, and at least make a video a week. Uh, I've switched from a PC to a Mac as far as the laptop that I'm using out here. Um, so I really don't know how that's going to affect editing videos. I've never edited a video on a Mac. So this, this one might just wind up being, here you go, here's the video without the intro and the outro. Because i got to figure out how to, how to do all that on the Mac. Um, and my PC in the house is, is broken at the moment, so kind of in flux for a lot of things right now, but y'all bear with me. Um, the site is still up, the orders are still flowing through, so no worries about that. Glad y'all got to see me today, and we'll chat with you later.